Hello everyone and welcome to the Anime Deli and thank you for joining me as we talk about chapters 4, 5 and 6 of the Quintessential Quintuplets manga series. As these three chapters focused more on the characters of Miku and Nino, showcasing some emotional aspects of the chapters and the comedic elements were also very fun and enjoyable. So let's take a look at these three chapters and see what context and what content they offered and dive deeper into the characters that were the main focus point. Starting off with Miku. Notably, Miku is one of the most focused characters within the series. When looking at this from a writing perspective, I do think this makes a lot of sense. As apart from Yosuba, Miku does seem like the most likely female character out of the sisters to comply with Yusuke's learning as she too has a passion for history. This is what we learned in chapter 3, and going along on that kind of plot thread and that path line, this makes complete sense. After all, the main goal is to have Yutaki gain the trust of all of these girls, little by little, while also giving us as the audience more information and more story about the characters that are involved. This, I thought, was executed brilliantly. That conversation between Yusuke and Miku was great in showing off the commitment that Yusuke has towards his tutoring. We already saw this in the last previous chapters, but this again gets reiterated and enforced, and I like that. He really does want to tutor these girls, and being that he was very persistent in chasing Miku down just goes a long way to showing just how committed he really is. And then we get to the dialogue that was spoken. This was brilliant. It was also very inspirational when talking to Miku's character, inspiring her to actually try and sit down and study. And the way they executed it was not flawless, so to speak, because there was a few flaws in it. But at the same time, I thought it was executed rather nicely. The way that he managed to inspire her and tell her, look, if one sister can do this, you're all sisters, correct? So doesn't that mean that you can do this as well? if your other sisters can do it, I thought was great. Again, just reiterating the fact that it inspires Miku and the fact that they foreshadowed Nino's feelings in this section was also a great implementation into that conversation. Being that we learn that Mi uh, Nino constantly looks out for her other sisters, making sure that Nino didn't get the highest score on purpose in that previous test that Yusuke laid out before them. She ranked a third out of all the other girls, making it so that her siblings didn't feel less when compared to her. Again, this works really well in backing up what chapter 6 states of Nino's character's intentions slash feelings towards her sisters. We'll go more into that in just a minute. I think the, the trickery uh, that Miku did, changing herself into Yotsuba, was fantastic. As it plays to an homage of the previous chapter in where Yusuke asked Yotsuba to frown and then stated that, wow, all these sisters really do look alike. So I like that. We could get some very creative uh, like bits of comedy using this kind of aspect and this kind of comedic line in the future. And I still would find it funny time and time again. I, did, I think it was great. Just the fact that it did look like another sister, just with longer hair. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that was fun. Seeing Miku stand up and defend Yusuke, plus her blushing, to me didn't really signal any form of romantic feelings just yet. As to me, Miku does seem like a character that doesn't really understand her own emotions at this moment in time, but seems to really have fun and is happy to finally have someone who takes an interest in her love for history. She finally has someone to challenge her and to talk to her about her passion. This basically makes her defending Yusuke more of an attempt at saving and keeping her new friend around, instead of her being like, oh, I like this man, so so I just, uh, I gotta defend everything that he does. I don't think that's any way, shape or form what's happening here. That's a bit too early, for my opinion, in a romance series. Then again, I could be wrong. Honestly, I just feel like Miku is someone who respects and is grateful to have someone around that she can share her secret of loving history with 
and uh, kind of improve her knowledge and challenge her on an intellectual level in that chosen subject. That's what I kind of think of it is because when Yusuke is trying to get everyone to study after the inspirational speech that he gives Miku, Miku goes, oh, we just had to accept that everybody else now has left and it's just me and you. So you're going to teach me history still, right? So she still wants to learn that. I don't think it has anything to do with the fact that she has lovey-dovey, googly eyes, lovey-dovey stuff for our main protagonist just yet. Let's move on to another character now though, shall we? Next up, we have Nino. Seeing that she's always looking to interrupt the study sessions before anything gets started, and that small hint about something happening within their past, to me, were good foundations being laid out before the reveal of her genuinely caring about her sisters, as before that reveal in chapter 6, we were led to believe as the audience that she was just a cheeky, playful, and almost manipulative female character that hates Yusuke. Instead, her actions are all in a way to protect her sisters. From who knows what, we don't really know, but possibly from getting their hopes up just to be disappointed by failing like every previous time before this current timeline. And I could be wrong, but Nino seems to me like a character that probably hasn't been in a situation in where her sisters have taken kindly to a stranger helping them out. And most of the time, Nino probably has gotten her own way, one way or another. So, for me, I would say that Nino's normality, her normal state of being, as generalised as it is, would be basically having tutors visit. Then those tutors get intimidated by the other girls or just Nino, so then they leave. And then the girls don't get any interest in studying. That's just what I perceive Nino's normality to be, because we read in chapters 1 to 3 that there was a line in there implemented saying that they've had many tutors before, but all of them have just left. You're probably going to be the same. So to me, that's a very hostile line to give out. But at the same time, it is a very telling line when you're looking at it from this perspective. But Nino's normal scenarios aren't playing out this time. She's not intimidating the tutor. The tutor is not leaving. Instead, her sisters are showing interest in studying. So why do I bring this up? Well, if we look at Nino's dialogue in this set of chapters, we have dialogue like, Oh, you're still here? And you haven't given up yet? This is what dialogue is coming out, and it's thanks to Yusuke's determination and the fact that her sisters are slowly joining him, she feels as though her normal is changing, and that's what's causing her to act out and to argue with her sisters like we see her arguing with Miku in this chapter. I certainly believe that Nino is a very interesting character that has a lot more to offer in terms of getting to know her more and learning why she feels the way that she does. And what happened to her in her past that drives her to be so protective when it comes to her sisters and the idea of them studying and learning. As a guess, just as a general guess from all the information that I know thus far, I'd probably say something along the lines of this. She, she being Nino, had a career goal or aspirations for the future in wanting to learn and study and become something big and special. But in her past, she got poor grades. And then someone along the lines told her that she should give up and not even try because those poor grades would amount to nothing. She was dumb, she was an idiot, and nothing would come of her even trying. This, of course, would cause her a lot of pain and a lot of inner turmoil and grief. So, to me, maybe Nino's current day actions are her way of protecting her sisters from ever feeling that humiliation, that pain, that suffering that she went through in the past. Again, I might be reading way too much into this, but I'm excited to read on and find out more about this character and see just where her actions stem from and what happened in the past that was so bad that all of these girls just don't like to study. Overall, I really enjoyed these chapters as it was building more on the characters that we're being introduced to into the series and that development is what's getting me excited to read on and find out more about each and every character. The art style is absolutely fantastic, I do love the artwork 
and the comedy was really fun and made me laugh in quite a few different places. I can't wait to read on and find out more about each and every character as we progress through the story and uh, I want to hear your thoughts on these chapters and on the video in general and my thoughts of what I just presented to you just see if you agree or whether you disagree. Whichever you do, then that's fine. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like the video if you did and subscribe for more content week in and week out. Other than that though, I hope you have an amazing day. Check out some of the other videos on my channel if you want to. And above all else, I'll see you next time. Alligator, Madonna, goodbye.